please the court, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that I told the court I'm going to be short, and from my prior arguments, y'all may not think that I'm capable of that, but it will be. Y'all have heard everything, and there's not much, a lot more to say that you can say. Um, it's extremely important in this case that when you go back and look at those instructions, that you, just like the judges told y'all along, that you consider each victim separately and each defendant separately. And when you consider those verdicts and you decide whether or not the murders occurred in a cruel or depraved manner, it is crucial that you consider each victim separately and each defendant separately and decide for each of these victims whether or not their death meets that definition. And it's crucial that you do that. As far as whether it's, it meets those definitions, for each one, it, words can't describe. I'm not, I was going to show you the pictures again, but I'm not going to do it because y'all seen the pictures and you know what they are. But again, I urge you to look at each one of them separately. This case depends on you looking at each one separately. If for some reason you decide that one of the deaths does not meet the definition, make the appropriate verdict for that particular victim. Now, in this case, these were introduced, and I want to remind you what the judge told you. This stuff, this Dr. Moneypenny's testimony and the questions that I asked, related to, to uh, Damien Echols' statements. They only apply to Damien. Only. They do not apply to Jason Baldwin. The testimony, they said, well, Damien wouldn't have an opportunity to be with his son. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Moore and, and Stevie Branch and Christopher Byers their families can't be with them anymore, and they can't be with the families. That was taken away from them on May the 5th, 1993. I told you I wasn't going to talk long. I'm not. I'm going to conclude with this. This statement of Damien, he puts it all in, I, I just put it all inside, describes this as more than just anger, like rage. Sometimes he does, in quotes, blow up relates that when this happens, the only solution is to hurt someone. Damien reports being told at the hospital that he could be another Charles Manson or Ted Bundy. When questioned on his feelings, he states, I know I'm going to influence the world. People will remember me. <coughs> We ask for your verdict.